Hello, my dear students. Welcome to EPG Part Sala. I am Anshul Srivastava from Department of Physics, Institute of Science, Banaras Hindu University. Today, we are going to talk on the module titled Nano Fibers Electro Spinning Technique under the paper Nano Science and Technology 2. After completing this module, my dear student, you are able to learn the one dimensional nanofiber or quantum wire. Electro spinning technique in detail. Electro spinning technique for growth of polymer nanofibers. You will also able to know controlling the various parameter in electro spinning setup for optimizing growth of one dimensional polymer nanofibers. One dimensional nanostructure, wire, rod, tube, fiber, belt are for current interest due to their wide range of applications in mesoscopic physics and nanoscale devices. In contrast to the other nanostructure, one dimensional nanostructure can provide unique advantages for the investigation of the electrical, mechanical and thermal dependence performance on dimensionality. For the potential application of one dimensional nanostructure into existing microscopic devices, there is a great need to develop a novel synthesis route for one dimensional nanostructure with nanoscaled diameter and macroscopic length. Since 1990s, electro spinning firstly patented by J.F.K. Goulet in 1900, Goulet J.F. patent G.B. 06385 titled Improved Method of and Apparatus for Electrically Separating the Relatively Volatile Liquid Component from the Components of Relatively Mixed Substances of Composite Fluid of in on 19th May 1900 which is a novel, simple and facile technique has been attracted numerous scientists attention for the growth of one dimensional nanostructure having continuous length, tuneable diameter, aligned direction, diverse and controllable compositions. During the electro spinning process, electric field force act on the polymer solution or melt to form the electro spun jet. Finally, solidified fibers can be achieved by stretching the electrified jet for the electrostatic repulsion between the surface charge and the evaporation of solvents. Till date, electro spinning field has been evaluated as the fast moving front in material science. Therefore, in coming slide, I am going to elaborate electro spinning technique. I want to discuss electro spinning setup. From 1990s, a number of advanced technique has been developed for the generation of one dimensional nanostructure including electron beam or focused ion beam writing, lithography, hydrothermal chemical vapor deposition, electro spinning, solution method etc. Among these methods, 
Electro spinning is the simplest method to fabricate one dimensional nanostructure with both solid and hollow interiors with continuous length tunable diameter aligned direction diverse and controllable composition different from other method for growth of one dimensional nanostructure electro spinning is based on the electric field force acting on the polymer solution or melt which can be regarded as a variant of electro spray process in electro spinning solidified fiber can be achieved by stretching the electrified jet for the electro static repulsions between the surface charges and the evaporations of solvent which is shown in the figure this technique could be applied to synthetic natural polymers polymer alloys and polymer decorated with functional nanomaterials these unique advantages of electro spinning afford the multifunctional properties for diverse applications electro spinning setup has clearly shown in the figure this setup contains three major components the first component is the syringe pump with a metallic or plastic syringe the second high voltage dc or ac power supply and the third one is fixed collector plate or rotating cylinder in the setup syringe is used to inject the polymer solution at controlled rate with the help of syringe pump as the high voltage is applied through high power ac or dc power supply the drop of polymer solution at the tip of syringe is polarized and the induced charges are distributed over the surface under the influence of a strong electrostatic field the charged polymer is accelerated towards the collector the role of electrostatic force here is to supplement or replace the conventional mechanical forces for example hydrostatic or pneumatic used to form the jet and to reduce the size of the fiber hence he known as electro hydrodynamic jetting here collector plate should be of good electrical conductivity to neutralize the charge carried out by the polymer nano fiber the process of electro spinning i want to discuss some basic process which occurs in electro spinning before moving further one can raise question like why electro spinning nano fibers fibers can be made much thinner through electro spinning than other methods now how the electro spun fiber are thinner down in electro spinning a solution of liquid polymer fluid is put through a capillary device to produce a droplet next a voltage is applied to the droplet 
which reduce the surface tension resulting in very thin fiber being drawn out the voltage applied is very high typical value range from 8 to 25 kilo volt the diameter of the fiber is inversely proportional to the applied voltage the fiber is then drawn towards a collection plate by gravitational and electrostatic forces the fiber become randomly arranged on the collector plate forming a mesh network now i want to discuss some of the basic theory of electro spinning such as the theory of electro spinning could be divided into few categories the first one the theory on the fluid charging theories on the liquid droplet under the high voltage that is called taylor cohn theory and the theories on the jet in flight instability theories where liquid droplet under high voltage it is called taylor cohn theory the second one is the liquid drop under high voltage which can also be called as taylor cohn theory in 1964 sir geoffrey in graham taylor established the taylor cohn theory to describe the deformation of a small volume liquid under the high electric field as a small volume of electrically conductive liquid is exposed to an electric field a stable shape can be acquired owing to the equilibrium of the electric forces and the surface tension in the case of newtonian and viscoelastic liquid as the voltage is increased to a critical potential and any further increase in potential will destroy the equilibrium thus the liquid body acquires a conical shape with a half angle of 49.3 degree a whole angle of 98.6 degree referred as taylor cone which is shown in figure additionally taylor also demonstrated that the shape of such a cone approached the theoretical shape just before jet formation within the electro spinning process taylor derivation is based on two assumptions the assumption number first that the surface of the cone is an equipotential surface and the second the cone exists in steady state equilibrium the formula uc square where uc is the voltage is equal to 4 h square by l square where h is the distance between the tip and the syringe and the collector l is the length of syringe in bracket ln 2 l by r minus 3 by 2 bracket closed 0.117 pi gamma r where r is the diameter of tip of the syringe gamma is the surface tension of the solution jet in flight which is thinning here i want to discuss the jet form during the electro spinning and instability theory it has been observed that during electro spinning the charged jet injected from the taylor cone passed by in a nearly straight line proceeded by bending into a complex path during which 
electrical forces stretched and thinned them by large ratios. Schematic illustration of the jet path between the tip of syringe and collector has been shown in the figure. As the fluid is injected from the cone, the continuous thinning of liquid jet can be observed. The charged jet will accelerate in the presence of electric field created by the countered positive and negative potential as shown in the figure and this plate is kept at ground potential. Several attempts has been made to explain such trends in electrospun jet operation as function of fluid and operating parameters under experimental control. Within certain limit for a given fluid, there exists range of driving voltage V and flow rate over which the electro spinning can be maintained stably for longer period. The electro spinning process continued an electrical circuit so one can measure as well the current flowing through this circuit. The characteristic length over which the initial dramatic thinning of jet takes place can be identified with the axial distance where advection and conduction current are equal. Following relation is of this nozzle regime length L, L to the power 5 equal to K to the power 4, Q to the power 7, rho to the power 3, Lx chi whole square, Y 8 pi square, Ex P J square, where K, Q, the small q, V, E, I and E are conductivity, flow rate, density, aspect ratio, applied field, electrical current and dielectric constant of outer fluid. Typically, air is the conventional electro spinning. Beyond this characteristic length, the jet thins more slowly, sufficiently far from nozzle. The jet approaches the asymptotic regime where all the terms except electrostatic and inertial must eventually die out. Here, I want to discuss the several parameters which one need to care during electro spinning, which needs for a good quality growth of nanofiber. For the growth, working parameters are very important and one need to understand not only the nature of electro spinning but also the conversion of polymer solution into nanofibers through electro spinning. These parameters can be broadly divided into three parts such as solution parameter, process parameter and ambient parameters. Each of these parameters can affect the fibers morphologies and by proper control of those parameters we can fabricate electro spun fibers with desired morphology and diameter. First I will discuss the solution concentration. The concentration of polymer solution play an important role in the fiber formation during electro spinning process. Four critical concentrations from low to high can be noted. The clearly seen the evolution of the products with different critical concentration from low to high. Four typical SEM images shown in the figure have been used to illustrate the whole change. 
the first one as the concentration is very low the polymetric micro nanoparticles will be obtained at this time electro spin occur instead of electro spinning owing to the low viscosity and high surface tension of the solution the second case as the concentration is little higher a mixture of beads and fiber will be obtained the third one when the concentration is suitable smooth nanofiber has been obtained and the fourth and the final if the concentration is very high non nano scale fiber helix shaped micro ribbons will be obtained so the solution parameters especially viscosity is another solution parameter which one need to understand carefully and to be optimized depending on the solution solution viscosity is the critical key in determining the fiber morphology it has been proven that continuous and smooth fibers cannot be obtained in very low viscosity whereas very high viscosity result in the hard ejection of jet from solution namely there is a requirement of suitable viscosity of electro spinning acm images of the electro spun pan product with different solution viscosities by adjusting the concentration of the polymer solution the concentration of left and right are 1.3 and 15 weight percent respectively has been shown in the figure the molecule the molecular weight of polyalanine is around 150000 generally the solution viscosity can be tuned by adjusting the polymer concentration of the solution thus different product where i want to discuss the solution parameter here i would like to discuss about the surface tension of the polymer solution which also plays a critical role during the growth of electro spun fibers surface tension which is the function of solvent composition of the solution is quite important factor in electro spinning in 2004 kyung and wang symmetrically investigated the influence of surface tension on the morphology of electro spun products with pvp as model with ethanol dmf and mc as solvent tem images of pvp nanofiber electro spun from ethanol mc and dmf has shown respectively one can compare these points the concentration of pvp is fixed at 4 8% they found that different solvents may contribute different surface tension with the concentration fixed reducing the surface tension of the solution beads fiber can be converted into smooth fibers let us discuss the processing parameters dear student here i will introduce you different processing parameters which is required to be adjusted during electro spinning the first one is the voltage within the electro spinning process applied voltage is the crucial factor only the applied voltage higher than the threshold voltage the charge jet ejected from taylor cone can occur several groups suggested that higher voltages can increase the electrostatic repulsive forces 
on the charged jet, favoring the narrowing on fiber diameter. In addition to this phenomena, some group also demonstrated that higher voltage offers the greater probability of bead formation. Thus, we can found that voltage does influence fiber diameter, but the level of significance varies with the polymer solution concentration and on the distance between the tip and the collector. Flow rate. The flow rate of the polymer solution within the series is another important process parameter. Generally, lower flow rate is more recommended as the polymer solution will get enough time to polymerize. If the flow rate is very high, bead fibrils will thick diameter will form rather than the smooth fibers with thin diameter owing to the short drying time prior to reaching the collector and low stretching forces. The third is collectors. During the electro spinning process, collectors usually act as a conductive substrate to collect the charges, charged fibers. Generally, aluminum foil is used as a collector, but it is difficult to transfer the collected nano fibers to other substrate for various applications. With the need of fibril transferring, diverse collectors has been developed including wire mesh, pin, grid, parallel or grid bar, rotating rod or wheel, liquid bath and so on. Distance between the collector and the tip of the syringe. It has been proven that the distance H between the collector and the tip of the syringe can also affect the fibril fiber diameter and morphology. In brief, if the distance is too short, the fiber will not have enough time to solidify before reaching the collector. Whereas, if the distance is too long, bead fiber can be obtained. It is well known that one important physical aspect of the electrospin fiber is the dry, dryness from the solvent. So optimum distance is recommended. So, so a student, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. We have learned the basics of electrospinning setup. We have also learned the formation of polymer nanofibers under high voltage in electro spinning technique, formation of Taylor cone under high voltage, charging of polymers jet formation at flight thinning, requirements of different controlling parameters such as solution and processing parameters for good quality growth of nanofibers. Thank you.